Okay, so listen, y'all. Um, I just wanted to make this very, very quick video. Okay, first, first though, I need for you purpose people to subscribe to this channel and like this content. Okay, the only way my page is going to grow is if you participate in the growth. Okay, purpose people, listen. I need to reach more of God's people, and I can only do that with your help. Okay, so please subscribe. But I'm coming here with a motivational Monday tip. All right. Now listen, this is for my business owners. Business owners, are you interested in your business surviving past your death? If you are not interested in your business surviving past your death, then you don't have to finish watching this video, okay? I love you, bye. Now, for those of you who are interested in your business surviving past your death, then I wanna make sure that you are beginning to put some things in place now, okay? You should be looking for a protege. If your children aren't in the lineup, if anyone in your family is not in the lineup, then you have to start looking for a protege elsewhere, outside of your family, outside of your lineage, okay? And don't be picking um, through, you know, some certain type of favoritism. No, this person has to have a drive that resembles yours. Do you understand me? This person has to have, have, to have a heart, a life spirit that resembles yours. God goal-oriented individual that resembles you in order for your business to survive past your death. There are so many other places and things that you have to put into place, right? But the most important thing is a vessel. You have to make sure that you start thinking about who this vessel is going to be, right? That's how your business is going to survive. That's how it's going to survive past your death, okay? So I just wanted to come here and get your juices flowing, okay, about your business surviving past your death. I mean, hey, it's simple. It's one, two, three, okay? I ain't got nothing else to say about that. Think about it. Comment below. Peace.